Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and the author of many books on how to draw cartoons. Today, if you will permit me, if you will indulge me, I would like to draw a cartoon of my dog, Spencer. Spencer dog is a spaniel. He's very cute. He's extremely evil. But what are you going to do? So uh, he is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. So he's going to start with a little boxy look for the top of his head. And you can follow along with me. Please do follow along. I'm going to slope down this box like this and bring this out to a muzzle like this. And as this comes into here, the neck comes like this. All right. We're going to bring the bottom of the mouth like so and bring it back in here. And we're going to be adjusting this as we go. He has a lot of bumpy fur on his ears like this. A lot of bumpy fur. Now, most dogs, just virtually all dogs, if you take this, the, the top of the nose like this, the snout, you bring it back, that's the level of the eye right there. So we're going to do that with Spencer Dog. So you're saying to yourself, why is Spencer so evil? Well, I'll tell you why Spencer is so evil. It's because he uses cuteness as a weapon. Anything Spencer wants, Spencer gets. I mean, it's, it's just awful. He runs the whole house. I'm going to make this a little shorter. You can always adjust. You can make yours longer if yours is too short. So I'm going to bring this out here a little bit because that's the other eye. Showing a little bit of the other eye on the other side. And I'm going to do this over black in a minute. We'll bring this crease line way up here. And a little bit of a cup for the chin, cupped area for the chin. Like so. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to leave this as the neck right here. I can make the ear a little bit longer, but you notice that the ears are a little bit on an angle. Usually most dogs are on an angle this way, and that the front isn't that long, it curls right in here. It has a little cupped chin over here, and the, the bottom of the mouth doesn't go all the way back as it does on people. It goes, the neck is pretty far forward. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to start with the eyes. Okay, very good. And then we'll bring the top here. Remember, we're showing the back of the eye a little bit here. Like those are eyelashes. I'll put a little eyelash on the far side just to show you the idea. Here is the eyebrow. This is the bridge of the nose. Now the nose itself comes out a little further than the, than the muzzle. So watch this, it comes in here, see, here, and then it comes down like this. It's a subtle thing, but most people don't know it, and that's actually how it looks, and it'll look better if you use it that way. Come in here. Like this. And we're gonna stretch this back. Put a few whiskers there. And a little cupping right here of the chin. Just want to bring that eyeball down just a touch without overdoing it. You know, if you improve something too much, you might deprove it. So you have to be careful not to uh, be too ambitious there. That's a little indication that the top of the nose has some width. A little feathering there. And on the top, some dogs, like my dog, very furry, so you'll be feathering all over the place. And then some dogs are just smooth as can be. Here is the back of his neck. And just, and just a little indentation where the cheek would be. So there is Spencer. There is Spencer Dog, the world's most evil spaniel, but cute as all get out.
So thank you for joining me. If you want to learn how to draw, you know, I have a book on how to draw dogs and cats. You can find that on Amazon, at Michael's, Barnes & Noble's, Hobby Lobby, and Joann's. It's, it's everywhere you want to shop for books on how to draw. And I have new videos out every week, so I hope you subscribe. But thank you for joining me today. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Bye-bye.